Reduce your speed. 3,000 meters to the runway. You are right on course. Maintain current heading. 1,500 meters to the runway. I hate mini games like this. Is that like a crash of your managed to come down without crashing your plane? It's like, yeah, that's actually quite the achievement. I'll have you know, quite the achievement indeed. Ah, that was stressful. Especially that first part. If I never have to do sneaky missions in a plane again, I'd be uh, blessed. Most definitively. Excellent work on the night raid. Submarines have arrived from the Ocean mainland and are refueling. This base will serve as a frontline platform for our mission to take Farbanti. We're almost at the end of this operation. Look at me flying through there. I think we still don't have enough for the F-35, do we? Well, maybe do one more mission and then uh, and I do have an second sorority was appointment to to how but it was nice once that you don't make yourself that gets made for you my job was to compare his performance as a pilot now to when he was younger and understand how his skills evolved well how nice of you to tell you the truth I'm not sure I wanted to know the answers anymore For a man his age, Mihai's body was unbelievably resilient, remarkably flexible. His reflexes were as sharp as they ever were. Still, after all those years of flying in the outer layers of the atmosphere, even someone as strong as Mihai wasn't immune to the effects of the strain. The human body is fragile. It was not meant to handle the excessive amounts of radiation that constantly bombarded the stratosphere. For Mihai's second sortie, we used a flight suit that was still untested. He seemed fine on takeoff, but by the time he landed back at the base, he was clearly a mess. He got caught in a surprise dogfight with an especially stubborn enemy. It took a while for Mihai to bring him down. The suit was ineffective. According to the data, mm -hmm. wouldn't let him fly to his full potential. A new flight Death suit was made luck. in exact specifications. When it finally arrived, Mihai's granddaughters glared at me with their disapproval. They blamed me for the pain their grandfather had to keep enduring. But Mihai remained stoic. He wasn't the type of man who cared about anything that happened here on the ground. I have to say, why am I worried about it? Why is my foot hitting something to love me? It's the thoroughly, kitty. So that he could maneuver his plane any way he wanted. The moment he took off in his new flight suit, I realized what I had failed to before. Right after takeoff, as the wheels retracted, the plane suddenly arced up. It accelerated so quickly. I had never seen a plane move like that before. Mihai hit the high G's multiple times before disappearing into the blue. The support team couldn't even keep up. And then I knew. I understood why he never seemed to care about restoring his stolen country back to its former glory, and why he didn't seem to care about anything that happened here on the ground. He just of likes course, flying. Mihai's kingdom was the sky. Doesn't really seem like a good idea to kill yourself for it, but I uh, guess, you know, if you want to, I can't stop you. Whoa. The 
operation to capture Arusha's capital, Farbanti, is beginning. Mm -hmm. This is the culmination of our work. And what a we load of work it was. The Arusian forces general Indeed. headquarters in the south of Farbanti and end this war. The plan is for ground troops to attack Farbanti from both the east and north, and a task fleet will attack from the southwest. We will secure air superiority over the capital while providing air support for our allies on the ground and in the water as required. Mm -hmm. By all accounts, we expect this to be an intense, full-scale battle across land, sea, and air. Should you need to replenish your ammunition or make necessary repairs to your craft, a return line has been set up in the north. During this operation, we will also be tasked with having to destroy the communication satellites that Neruja hacked. If we take down the information communication system that we believe they have control of, it should plunge Arusha into chaos. Once the capital falls, the Arusian military will be isolated and thrown into chaos, making it easier for us to end the war. However, that can't happen until after the capital falls, so you guys are the stars of this battle. And with the stars at bay, the will fight like a tiger, but we cannot lose. We must seize the capital and end this war. Gonna make my life very painful then, don't ya? Like, yep, that is kind of my plan. Hmm, let's take a look. At this point, we could technically be in for the F15E. We could save up some more money because we're relatively close. Get the F-35C, which is, ironically enough, partly developed by the JSF, Joint Strike Fighter Program. Wouldn't that be rather amusing little thing to do? Okay, what do we have here? City around. Um... Machine gun moves towards a locked on enemy within a set Yeah, that sounds fucking useful. Not gonna lie. The new plane also sounds rather really useful. I guess we can make the decision after we're done. After we're done, we can decide, basically. Oh, I know this. I'll just quickly uh, take a leak. Get more to drink, because it is fucking hot. And I am not a fan of that at all. So I'm gonna put you here for a moment. <laughs> While I take care of our business. Getting a break or eating that. Ah, just getting myself a new drink. I'm st still somewhat feeling it in the head, mind you, but it's not as bad yet. I guess at the moment I can probably manage maybe three hours or so of relatively fast moving shit. 
But then again, it's not like I can just uh, guarantee that I can take this one to one. I said, you know, I'm gonna do one more mission and then I'm probably gonna sign off. I choose, I already plan to play some more Baldur's Gate, but I kind of figured that would go a lot longer. And I do have an appointment that I do need to uh, take care of tomorrow, relatively early. I uh, figured playing something that I will most definitively not play for like six, seven, eight hours in a row is probably the better choice, all things considered. I was actually kind of hoping I could start a bit earlier today, but. Basically been running around the whole fucking day. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Which means tomorrow after I'm done, um, oh yeah, we're definitely going to, uh, play some Baldur's Gate. Which I haven't really played all of these missiles in a while. Hello, little enemy. Return lines to the north. Head that way if you need to refuel. Good luck, everyone. Enemy has a lock on you. Count is back in the saddle of Cyclops, too. It's good to be flying with you again, partner. Cheers. No, it's real funny. But yeah, we wouldn't want to end on a fucking cliffhanger, now, wouldn't we? That would be just mean. I think it's pretty good. Strategy laughs in, in, in strategy for my statement. Like, okay, fair enough. And then, ground targets. What do we have this time? A, A guns. I must still say though, the game really does have a nice fucking sound thing. That's a pretty nice sound, pretty background. Yes, yes. Good, good job, good job, game, I guess. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's not like I'm uh, not enjoying this game. I'm, I'm absolutely not good at it, but uh, I'm not going to claim otherwise. But I don't need to be to make this enjoyable, personally. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't really play a game off camera and, you know, do some farming, even if it's only a little bit, if I wouldn't enjoy the game. Or would I? That would be kind of stupid. Honestly, really enjoyable. If it wouldn't make me sick to my stomach all half the time. Yes. <laughs> 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 it's not like I'm not enjoying it. Hello, little Gripen. Whoosh. Dip, 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 dip. Yeah, I realize that I am definitely never gonna be good at this sort of game. Yeah, from... Honestly, I don't know. Um, 
take for example cars. I can drive fast cars really fast. No problem. I, that's a bit of a difference, I suppose. But just for some reason, just some something in games that how they move makes me really not feeling good. I don't have any of those problems on boats, and honestly, I've been flying um, quite a few times. Can't say that I've ever suffered any ill effects from that. But, uh. Basically, everything that is in a monitor. In reality, I actually don't suffer that much. I, at least from the normal experience that you make, as I say. A few times I had to experience something a bit more uh, pressuring. Can't say that I ever did prepare this, but I was still a young man, so that doesn't really matter. So who knows? I don't. I sure as hell fucking don't know. I do really like the fucking soundtrack. Okay, Trigger. Save the bridge is all yours. We'll deal with the other threat. Let's go. Mission. That's just it. Enemy on your rear. Watch out. Missile. I mean, you know, I do love this plane. It's cute, but I do kind of want to try out the other plates. But this one is cute. Even cuter than my little uh, 14D. That also means that I'll have to rewatch fucking flight glitches at some point. Little pants, less switches. The elite glitch. The little tomcat. It was a cute little play. What's that? Did I miss an APC over there? See, but this mission, this mission is fun. This, this is fun to do. So what did I miss over there? Shoot me, but I you know, randomly decided to go somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not the, the newest plane. But it is cute. Honestly, the, the, the cutest thing about the Super Tomcat is that it can it does, you know, move its fucking wings in. That just makes it really, really cute. Which I do enjoy. There's stuff out there, apparently. Kinda interested in finding out what. Battle cruisers. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. Uh, also, you know, technically speaking, this does kind of make me want to, you know, drag out the old fucking PlayStation 2 and play some old oh, Ace Combat for some reason. Probably got gonna make me even worse sick, but. Okay, I don't think this is the right ammunition for dealing with a fucking battle cruiser. If we deal with that, I should probably resupply them. And probably equip the um, other missiles. I know we can with can shoot go up. Yeah. I have good missiles against ships, mind you. I just haven't equipped them because I was kinda like, eh, that's gonna give me much in the way of ships. I was kinda wrong about that actually. Yeah, you know, happens to the best of us. I would kinda like to finish up the ships relatively quickly because I'm pretty sure they're also gonna be worth quite a amount of coins. Yes, yes, yes. 
take all this. Give me my uh, my special ammunition. Strider one, this is control tower. The runway is clear. Uh, do not go for air on surface unless you want to rely on very limited weaponry to make stuff that is hard. Okay. Yeah. This is the Stork. There are small boats hiding in the ruins. Take them out before they can approach the fleet. The comms are full of requests for help from friendlies. Our occupation of Frabanti could be in jeopardy now. I really don't want to deal with you. I kind of want to deal with the big ships out. It's mostly because they're kind of keeping the fucking other boaties stuff busy. It's not neat. Strategies are really. <laughs> Be honest, you like this one too. It's huge. <laughs> Good work on my part, I must admit. <laughs> okay, I dealt with that, now we can really deal with it. <sighs> but it is a cute thing, though. And uh, from the very same or well, the, the, the very same place basically is going to uh, be quite featured in quite a few more once I come around to actually make them. Believe you me, there'll be more of them. Yeah, shooting in there, stuff like that, whatever. Yeah. Not gonna work for me. I thank you for the strategy. Very nice of you to make use of the options you have. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye. Enemy have a lock on you, Strider One. Get the amount of ground targets, technically speaking. Just take a bit too much to kill the tanks, though, I must admit. Kinda annoying me. Same side. More gold, your majesty! <laughs> More gold, your majesty. They do love this, aren't they? It's a very much strategy. Ah. Hello, little MiG-21. Come on, please, it's the pipe of <laughs> Don't worry. The pipe will be lighted in your honor. You can count on that much. Damn it, I can't look at what you're doing and doing this at the same time. That is not going to work. Now will it? Ah, that's true, actually. I have forgot. There should actually also be more animated ones, now that I think about it. If um, Twitch hasn't randomly decided to take them away again, which Twitch has a tendency to do, they're not always of the same opinion as me when it comes to what is okay and what is not. For some mystifistical reason, mind you. 
I don't know why. It's not like I try to sneak in something, you know, a bit more um, direct sometimes. Or anything. And even if you know, I usually do keep it to a somewhat reasonable level. Mostly. I should look this up if they are still in there. Mm -hmm. I should maybe not try to kill me. Three? I mean, 30. I really want me to take down this right now, then. The... Now try try to take care of the planes. Look like nah man, leave those planes to me. Okay. How close were we? Oh, pretty close. I must admit, I have uh, these 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 particular type of missions have kind of grown on me, honestly. I kind of would wish, though, they would be a bit more gracious with the um, the the um, time limit. Yeah, that was the word I was looking for. But that I would rather enjoy, to be fair. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie at all. Also because generally speaking I just like playing around and shooting at things, so that is kinda enjoyable, you know. Also, I do at some point need to remember the point system because I do think that planes are mostly lower difficulty allows for that. I'm actually tempted to do that just so I can have some more time to fly around and shoot things. Which I rarely feel. But don't see this this would be so far my only real So it's not even a real complaint, mind you. But the only uh, thing I find somewhat sad about this particular type of missions. Not really a fan of the protect something kind of missions, but well, I guess they're pretty standard. I could probably, yeah. But also, far, I haven't really done any lowering, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, actually I tried one mission um, to see what would change in that particular mission. Um, I think it was the mission against the the, uh, the boss plane. Our troops have engaged at Frabanti Reconstruction Park. Silver Bridge in the submerged area. We need you to help our boys in those three locations. This will end the war. It's time to commence the operation. <sighs> my friends are waiting. Lately, as your company commander, I felt some of you young bucks coming after our championship belt. You really putting the pressure on me. So I think I'm gonna go out there and put up the score. <laughs> Just to show you guys how it's done. I trust I can count on all you to keep up. Let's get out there, take care of business, and come back in one piece. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
kind of dumb yet. Enemy on my tail. Where's the I kinda expected you to go down. Those are worth quite a bit. I need to remember that. 360? Oh, it's okay, point wise. See you down there. But now you can't. You're not allowed to see me. Okay, we cleaned up this area. Now we fly over middle. See some helicopters. Why are we aiming at this ash holishly far away fucking thing? You wonder. Apparently that particular SAM site is especially hated by me for some mysterious reason. Should have restocked, shouldn't I? Instead of going down back here again, where apparently we get more enemies. Mm. Oh, did you miss that? Just asking, you know? Ah, just it. Not a good angle to do them at. Yeah, it's more promising. Get fucked, bitch. Which means target has been completely fucking destroyed. Hmm. Destroying the boats would probably be a good idea, all things considered. Hmm. 
trying things out, he's kind of fun, to be fair. Soon. There you are. Trying to run away from me, eh? That's not very nice of you. Yeah, it's not acceptable. Kind of funny, isn't it? To be fair, this is not doing good things to me, by the way. There's also the reason why I'm getting very much so more quiet. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It's not like I cannot try to play a bit harder, you know, that's an option, yes, it's just doing well. Yeah. Yeah. That's also the reason why. But now I get suspiciously quieter than I usually am. And usually something is happening that is not supposed to be happening, but it is, as I said, that's the problem. And when I actually do want to play with something and I do have fun with it, then that's kind of how it ends up. That's what we have to also kind of try to listen to the music a little bit. It's pretty nice music. Stop pretending I can't see you, bitch. Something that is flying. Ah, it's a helicopter. It's also technically flying, but it's of course not flying like you know, not flying like us. Stop hitting me. Not very nice of you. Enemy 
Okay. You just said there's no chance in fucking hell you'll miss that one. Or at least you shouldn't have any chance in hell of missing that one. No radar people. Come here. Oh, we already achieved our numbers, eh? Didn't? Huh? I figured it would be a bit too close. It's a very good idea to take a break after this particular level. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy indeed. Who's there now? I'm just gonna be an asshole and run back and prepare myself. Get a nice few more missiles in case we find a few more little uh, little planes that want to get fucked. Strider one, this is control tower. Everybody's like, bitch, please. I have one minute left. Could could couldn't you just wait it out and they're like, ah, I give him some fucking shit. The not gonna regret that. And yeah, is there anything plane wise around? There's some AVs. Ja, ja. There are some more planes up there, that's cute. Fucking rough out of guns. All aircraft, listen carefully. This is Longcaster. We have the upper hand. The enemy headquarters is almost ours. Operation to eliminate all enemy satellites also underway. All going according to plan. <sighs> Yeah, Jim, I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna be very grateful if I don't have to stare at the screen for a bit. Man, don't yes, 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 it's not like I don't enjoy this game. You push it, actually. I must admit, strategy, very good choice. On your part. Yeah, this is gonna be a. Uh, Come on, that's my usual trick, you asshole. Don't do that. What's going on here? I don't believe this. It's always time for pipe. We're taking heavy damage. It's like this monster okay. is toying with us out there. We've got to do something. LRSSG, we have an emergency order from Mission Command. Bring down Mr. X. I know it's a tall order, but HQ wouldn't ask that they didn't have faith in you. Let's see. Just like you say, the enemy has experienced fire snippets. They evaded it. 
Did he just fucking flare me, the bitch? He did fucking flare me. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Hmm, you're kinda of hard to hit, aren't ya? That are some beasts, nature. Thanks for reminding me that you exist. They're trying. That's that. That's pretty good at their job, you know. Waits for the perfect shot. Looks, looks over at me. Randomly shooting missiles in the wetlands. Enough with your air show, wise man. You're pushing it. Oh, Cal, that's sweet. I never knew you cared. You're all grown up. I'll even let the wise cracks slide. Hey, I'm being serious here. Trigger is busy. It's impossible. Do it. Alright. Damn it. Cyclops 4 form an element. We need our top gun if we're gonna take out that bastard. Local count. Every eight hours. That fuck of maneuverable. He's pretty good at being an annoying target. I have to admit. What's that? Target 
Jetzt was ist das? Der Doi geht weg daher von der Tage. Keine Neu mehr. Ja, das ist okay. Ich würde es doch tun, das. Rega ist busy. Stalling is my own fault. Look to the sun. Where is the sun? Where is the sun? Where is the sun? Where is the sun? I don't really see anything apart from... Oh. Light. Lots of light. Soon. Damn. Now go finish the job. Get Mr. X trigger. Shoot it down, trigger. You can do it. In fact, you're the only one who can. My radar suddenly turned off. This is not just my radar. Don't ask me. This is Soul Squadron. Head home. It's not safe to stick around here if we lose our base. Listen up. We've just lost our real-time connection with Mission Command. It's not just Mission Command. I'm not getting any response from outside our LOS. Farbanti is now under OCN control. The operation was a success. We didn't get the orders that should have come after the operational success. We'll yeah. guide you to the scheduled airport. That's All it. aircraft. This airspace immediately. Negative. They've got a debt to pay. I mean, fair enough. It's like, I don't know. You know what? Fuck you. Then <laughs> fuck you well. Count. We all feel the same way. Shit. So Wiseman died for nothing. I don't know. He, he died keeping another person busy, so I have to have some fun shooting at the planes. Going to pew 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 missiles. I don't see a negative here. In fact, I, only, I only see positives here. I think we can now actually afford the F-35, can't we? This is a peacekeeping force forward base near a pretty damn sure we can. Which means we're just one other step away from the F-22. probably been forced to make emergency landings at other airfields. We don't know much. The mission to capture the capital is nearly complete. But we unfortunately have no intel. The enemy communication satellites are down. And we have confirmed the deaths of several Eruzian leaders. Mm -hmm. Our enemy was smart. They had a similar plan. Our own communication systems were destroyed at approximately the same time. We have no idea when or if they'll come back online. Stand by for further details. Okay. Yeah, we have 979. That should be more than enough. Good. Yes, we can at least watch the intro and see what's happening next, and then we're gonna we'll take a look at the planes. As far as the chaos we find ourselves in these days, it's difficult to say which side pulled the trigger first. Arugia deployed an automatic intercept system with drones. Osea implemented long-range attacks to bypass them. So Arugia decided to sabotage Osea's communications and navigation technology. I kind of figured something like this was going on. themselves, but they were still able to hack the software of the Ocean transmission and navigation systems. Before Osea even noticed, half of their satellites were hijacked. That's when things got ugly. In an attempt to knock out each other's capabilities, both forces launched fighters loaded with anti-satellite missiles 
at the same time. <laughs> Only military satellites were targeted. However, their destruction created a debris field in orbit which wiped out scores of other satellites, both private and government owned. What kept the world relatively sane up to that point had been free-flowing data and information. <laughs> now, those were gone. All that remained was chaos. Imagine that, you know, you and one fighter pilot coming from here, they have somebody, yo, what are you doing here? Uh, well, our mission to destroying some satellites. Oh, that's great, I'm too. It's like, okay. Um, I'm just gonna do a mission. <laughs> <laughs> Many of the smaller countries annexed by Arugia, yearning for their independence, mm. seized the opportunity and started their own uprisings. As for why some of Osea's military decided to break off from the main force and continue on their own, I have no idea. Perhaps there was some sort of dispute over the chain of command. The continent that had once seen wars that were only fought between Osea and Arugia was now full of numerous conflicts between rival leaders vying for power. Insurgencies were everywhere. I even heard a rumor that a group of Ocean convicts had rebelled. Oh no, how unexpected. Rumors. It never ceased to amaze me that even at a crazy time like this, something as trivial as a rumor could find its way here. Oh, believe you me. Take the internet and you will see how fast people will start cut off. talking again. Apparently, Massive amounts. The entire computer network was down. It was a wise decision to make our drones autonomous with AI instead of being radio controlled. Wise and forward thinking. Even with their GPS offline, they can still use their sensors to navigate as long as they're working properly. I'm sure the drones are still working perfectly. Yeah, back to the village well. Following their mission order. If you hear it already. Mm -hmm. I wish I could upload Mihai's new data to them. But without a connection, I can't upload the software to the That storm's pretty drones. close. Mm. The new ones we're making, though. Well. There should still At least I'm gonna get some fresh air, and that is rather nice, I must say. I'll be taking the data I've acquired away from the front lines now. Oh, and... I'll be taking the girls too. I told my assistant Masa it was time to get Mihai's granddaughters ready to leave here. She's not much older than the girls, but she has a way about her, and I'm sure she won't have any trouble with them. I saw a plane flying off in the distance. I imagine it was looking for a safer place. The plane was it now? had a rose emblem on it. Actually, I have a plane with rose emblem on it. Okay, let's nice hope. Sounds like a pain in the ass. Yeah. Definitely not creepy, that guy, but that guy was creepy from the very get go. Had a tendency to just stare around and internally monologue all the time. Down since their satellites were destroyed. Unfortunately, we are experiencing trouble too. That's a nice way of saying it. All of Yuji has been affected, and we don't know when things will be back up and running. We're not even sure if this is Yuji's doing. Still. We will follow the strategy that was originally planned and move on to the next operation after liberating Farbanti. Let's get to it. Since the war began, we've been Indeed. receiving communications in secret from an Ish officer of the Russian army. Nobility. With the capital under our control, Arusia's radical element is losing support quickly, affecting the balance of power. Mm -hmm. HQ is thinking of using the military officer as a way to gain leverage to settle peace negotiations. Yeah. Peace negotiations. That's what we're going for. Anchorhead Bay, having joined up with support dispatch from the Ocean Army. The plan is that they'll take a standard vehicle to a rendezvous point mm -hmm. at a harbor in the east part of the city, where a helicopter will be waiting. I mean, to be fair, when everything goes to shit and you have the option to get out, escort for the officer. Who would? Cyclops will remain at the base on standby to serve as defense. With the communication network currently down in the capital, I very much doubt Arusia will be able to mount a regimented counterattack. Yeah, sure, that runs However, with it is likely that Arusia's intelligence department and the remaining forces who are aware of the officer's movements will interfere. Keep a close eye on the officer and make sure he stays safe. I've got another Our protection mission. Our victory has mm. given us a golden opportunity to finally end this war. Be safe out there. Take note that our satellite-based IFF has become unreliable following the recent communications failure. 
As such, target ID will be done by processing the images from the infrared cameras on your aircraft. Objects will initially appear as unknown on your HUDs, but will be ID'd once you close in on them for a set period of time. Let me guess, I shouldn't just shoot at unknown targets then. Zooming. I have no information about targets, that's great. Let's take a look at my little reading genre. At this point we can most of the afford the F-35C. Let me afford its weapons as well. Probably. <laughs> An accident, you say? I don't know if I would call some of my uh, more freestyle shooting an accident. As I can tell you, the motors will probably be uh, quite less accident, quite a bit more. Um, Mm, look at that. This is the sort of weapon I was waiting for having for so long. So since we do have a nice plane for the air, we're gonna get that. I don't think we can actually afford this one. No, we can't. Uh, enhances aircraft self capabilities. That's cute. Okay, yeah, let's take a look at the new plane then. F 35C. It looks good. I don't think I have any skins for you, though. Whatever yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm working. Boom. Look at that. That is definitely going to be the weapon of choice for this one. Hmm. Special bomb blast right? Would this even work with this one? Yeah, it's considered a missile. No, oh, they're good. I have good experience about with missiles. Get better with my standard missiles. I think... <laughs> Seems okay. Yeah, there's one hell of an engine, though, to be completely fair and honest. It's a cute little plane. I think we're gonna try it out next time and have some fun with this one. Look, doesn't it look cute, fully loaded with shit? Well, to be fair, not necessarily, because I just equipped it for fucking ground targets, and I'm pretty sure most of the targets we're gonna have to face are probably gonna be air targets. I usually... Oh, more our goal. Oh. Well then, before things get worse, I will have to start excusing myself.